There is a very powerful skill that I have learned over time. A skill called mindfulness. Mindfulness is basically being aware of where you are, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and how you're acting. And maybe probably also being aware of how your actions, your thoughts, and your emotions are impacting the lives of others, and also understanding how other people are impacting your own emotions and your own thoughts and even your own behavior. This is what is called mindfulness. In other words, it's being where you are at the very spot, at the very time. Now, I know when I say that, you may just take it like uh, just beautiful phrases put together. But one thing that I've come to discover over time, that people actually do not live in the present. People have a long past and they have a very fearful future because you're so uncertain about it, because of the things that have happened in the past. Now, one of the beautiful things that you can do at the moment is to try to come here and now. And once you come here and now, there's nothing that will be suppressed. In this case, actually, you're in touch with your thoughts, you're in touch with your emotions, you're in touch with everything that is happening in your life and how that is impacting everything that you're doing in your life. Now, when we talk of, about traumas, for example, in this case, trauma comes as a result of unprocessed thoughts, unprocessed emotions, things that you go through, but because you're not present to yourself at that time, you're trying to rescue yourself from a situation, then you realize they were suppressed. And the other ones that pop up, like anger, pop up like discouragement, negative way of thinking, maybe some phobias here and there, anxieties, or sometimes it can really resort to mental illnesses. Now, when you know how to cut yourself life, like when something is happening, you're there, you touch yourself, you cut yourself, then you're able to flow with what is happening with your life. You can choose what to process, what to do, maybe process later, but at least you're aware of it. This is called mindfulness. When you're mindful, then you're able to live life fully, fully from wisdom.